for the latest on embattled Congressman George Santos. He faces questions about where the money came from for his campaign. And today in Nassau County, a group of voters are calling for uh, Mr. Santos to release his tax returns. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance has been closely following all the twists and turns in this story. Joins us live from the newsroom with the very latest. Shante. And David, Congressman George Santos has still not answered how he was able to donate more than a half a million dollars to his own campaign after only earning 55 grand two years earlier. Well, that change in the Federal Elections Commission filing is drawing even more attention to him for federal investigators to find the answer. I declare with every bullet and with every act of violence imposed by the Iranian government, comes a call for us to condemn their actions. As Congressman George Santos delivers his first House floor speech, controversy continues to swirl around the embattled Long Island rep. This time, he's facing new questions about where the money came from for his campaign. No remarks for you guys right now. Just months ago, George Santos reported loaning his campaign more than $700,000 of his own money. But two days ago, he changed those filings, unchecking the box that indicated most of the money came out of his own pocket. By federal law, candidates must disclose how they're funding their campaign. The Republican freshman rep accused of lying about everything from his education to background has brushed off questions. Where did it come from? Well, I'll tell you where it didn't come from. It didn't come from China, Ukraine, or Burisma. How about that? It's the equity of my hard working self that I, I've invested inside of me. Santos is still not answered how he was able to donate more than a half a million dollars to his campaign after earning just 55 grand two years earlier. I have no comments for you at the moment. Nothing on the House Committee sitting? Nope. And it's not just eyewitness news looking for answers. Santos is facing multiple investigations. Federal prosecutors are looking into those campaign filings. So are the Queens and Nassau County District Attorneys, New York State Attorney General, and the Federal Election Commission. Santos has admitted to embellishing his resume but has denied any wrongdoing. But for now, Kevin McCarthy, who relied on Santos's vote to become the next Speaker of the House, is not taking any action against him for now. If for some way when we go through ethics that he has broken the law, or you know, then we will remove him. But it's not my role. I believe in the rule of law. A person's innocent to proven guilty. This as a new protest is underway on Long Island outside of the IRS in Bethpage, demanding that Santos release his tax returns. Right now, he's taking so much energy questioning his background, his finances, who he represents. Let's straighten this out and get back to work. And right now, also under question is his campaign treasurer, Nancy Marks. We knocked on her door. She didn't answer. But again, this is all a part of that investigation. David and